Hello Virgos, this is your reading for March 30th through April 1st. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Thank you guys for coming. What messages do we have for Virgo and love for March 30th through April 1st? Virgo. What messages do we have for Virgo? Cards are sticking together now. King of Swords here. Mm. There's something that you guys have been concentrating on. This is Tar, not Taurus, Libra, Aquarius, um, Gemini energy here. But I think there's a lot that you are considering at the moment. Okay. Um, a lot of things that have happened in the past. I feel you guys are reflecting here. Um, you're kind of replaying things over in your head. Mm -hmm. You're really just trying to, you know, analyze some things I feel currently. And then we have the world. There's something that I feel like you guys are being beckoned to learn. Okay. Um, a cycle is definitely wrapping up here, but I'm feeling like there's still something that um, you guys need to take heed to or learn in a situation. Okay, we have Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, um, and Leo energy here as well. But um, I'm, I'm feeling there's something that you probably need to let go. There's something that you guys are holding on to that you're still kind of analyzing and studying, okay? But I'm feeling you definitely coming around to a situation. There's definitely something that, that is, there's an accomplishment here, okay? Ace of Wands, definitely a new start on the table because the, with the world, you know, there's an ending, okay? And then it's the end of the tarot. The next card here would be the Fool actually taking a leap of faith, starting over, um, being more playful, you know, not taking things so very seriously. I see you guys... You know, you, you're trying to master something here. And I'm feeling like you are trying to master your emotions for one thing. Um, look at that. I call it and it comes. There's a fool. Something's trying to wrap up here. There's there's a cycle um, that is, is trying to wrap itself up. So you guys can start anew. Do things that you like. Do things that make you happy. There's a situation that um, it's, it's like you're wanting to let it go. But I feel you guys having a hard time here. Okay. Why is the King of Swords here for Virgo? Aries energy is here now. Why is the King of Swords here? Nine of Wands, there's something that you're having a hard time letting go of. Um, there are thoughts, ruminating thoughts that you just can't, it's like you're constantly trying to figure out something, okay? And it's almost driving you a little, it's like there's a level of obsessiveness in this situation, overthinking in this situation, okay? Overthinking for sure. Why is the world here? Judgment. Okay. There's a decision that has to be made here. Now we have 20. We have 20. We have 21. There's a decision that needs to be made here. Okay. It's either you want to... You want to continue to be in a situation that causes you a lot of mental anguish? Or do you want to learn from this situation, end it, let it go, start over again? Okay. There's a decision on the table here so you guys can wrap this up. And the only way I can really say to do it 
is what is it ask yourself what is it that you really want what can you logically help here what are the facts in this situation because a lot of times with the nine of swords this is an overactive imagination that has um, very li little factual um, elements to it okay it's like overthinking what do you want is it worth staying here or do you need to bow out gracefully and start over? Okay. There's something that needs to end here. Whatever that means for you guys. Scorpio energy here and um, Gemini. Okay. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Ace of Swords. I'm thinking, yes. Ace of Swords. This is you guys finding victory in this situation and truly realizing, having a new thought process, thinking about things differently, realizing something here, realizing something there. There's something that you guys, um, there's something that you need to really look at. Um, and not overthink it, but really kind of decide what is the truth and what's not. Okay? Why is a fool here? Sometimes it's hard to look at ourselves in the mirror. That's also what judgment is. Okay? It's looking at yourself in the mirror and can you really stand or take what you see? Okay, this is having the strength to see the truth. To not be foolish in this situation. Whatever this means for you guys. We have Leo. I think I've already said that with the world energy. I've called out the signs for you guys. Let's see what energy is coming in for you guys. There's a big decision that you guys have to make. You feel it. What energy is coming in for Virgo? Ten of Swords. These thoughts are overwhelming for you guys here. We have the Nine, which is the ending of a cycle. This is too much. This is too much. This is too much for you. And then we have you realizing some truth here in this situation and starting anew with an Ace of Wands. What else do we have for Virgo? The Seven of Wands. I feel you guys defending your what you believe, what you think. I don't see any emotions here. Very kind of aloof, very kind of removed. Very removed here. A lot of ego is involved in this situation too, okay? You're defending the fact that you guys are, you know, you feel betrayed. Um, maybe that somebody was playing mind games with you um, but I'm feeling like you know it's kind of one-sided here what else do we have for Virgo Queen of Swords you guys are wanting to know the truth about a situation we have a couple here now King of Swords and a Queen of Swords you guys are wanting to know the truth about a situation some of you feel like somebody has stabbed you in the back probably cheated on you um, nevertheless you feel betrayed whatever the situation is here okay and then the Knight of Swords you definitely want to um, figure some things out but let me say this guys and I'm gonna wrap this up okay sometimes you know you may never hear the truth come out come out of someone's mouth you have to take the situation for what it is not what you think it is but from what you really know how you really feel about the situation and go from there that is your truth that is your truth okay so if it's something that you're waiting on somebody to admit to um, that may not be a good situation okay sometimes you have to go on what you feel your, your instinct, your intuition, and make a decision from there, okay? So we have, again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy is here, Leo is here, Aries is here, Taurus, um, Scorpio is here, 
as well. All right, guys. So that is what I have for you. And um, maybe Sagittarius is here as well. All right, guys. Talk to you soon.